Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, we got a phone call from Nightheart. He said he was here over in Trista at Thor's, and here he is. He's got a quest for us. It's good to see you again, Schwarzer. Likewise, sir. I've been keeping up with your exploits with the army. It's hard not to after all you've done. Hard is still not to hear about yours as the Ashen Chevalier. Although I'm sure that feels more like a burden than a source of pride. <laughs> well, I chose this path for myself. I have to accept whatever comes with it, whether good or bad. Brings you to the Academy, by the way. Not much. Only here to return some documents I forgot I had in my possession. Don't have much time to spare here, but it seemed like a waste not to get the most out of it. Which is why I wanted to see how you were doing. Really? Thank you very much for your concern, then, sir. Schwarza, there comes a time when you desire to follow your beliefs clashes with the preservation of your own well-being. It relieves me to see that you're doing better than I anticipated, but... Sir? Look alive, Schwarza. Show some spirit! Did did yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry. It's just that your eyes don't have the vitality in them that they once did. I suppose I could make the time to lead you in some training. Nothing reignites a man like being pushed to his limits. Of course, this offer includes the rest of the men in your class, too. Am I getting a sense of deja vu here? All of us, sir? That's what I said. Think of this as my final lesson to you. I don't intend to force you into it, either. Just know that the offer's on the table, if you're interested. Hmm. Let's get sweaty. Ugh. Most definitely, sir. Look at that. Seeing a little bit of fire back in your eyes already. Have the men and meet me in the gymnasium. Gymnasium. Very, very weird, like Elliot just being like, I'm gonna cover my penis. We <laughs> starting to get warmer, but nobody in their right mind would call this swimming weather. How do we find ourselves in this situation to begin with? Well, Major Nightheart said he wanted to give us some training. But maybe I should have asked him to clarify exactly what that training was. I don't know, swimming in this weather might make for effective training. Unusual, sure, but effective. I'm just wondering what possessed you to call me for this. Stow the whining, Alborea. We've got training to do. We'll start with warm-ups, done in accordance with the Manway method. Unless we forget. That means we'll be racing one-on-one -on -one until we've all raced each other, right? My memories of exhaustion and pain are to be believed, then yes. Glad to see it made an impression. Schwarzer, you get first pick. Yes, sir. Hmm. Let's go with Usus. Let's go, Usus. Hmm. Very well. It's been quite some time since the two of us last competed like this. I don't expect either of us to hold back, of course, so this should be interesting. That's for sure. Take your positions and begin. When was the last time we did this? It was Cold Steel, wasn't it? First one. I think. I don't think we did it at any point in Cold Steel 2 until now. Terrible. First time, every time. Yay. I should have known things would turn out this way. Truly merciless, aren't you? <laughs> hey, you said you didn't expect me to hold back, right? Still, I only won by a, a nose at best. I hear talking when I should hear swimming. Your race is done. Get back here so the next one can get started. R right. Yes, sir. Lloyd. Ew. Now that you've all raced each other, we can move on to phase two of the training. Rest? Me? Oh, you're too kind, Instructor, but I don't need it. 
Not after four swim races. <laughs> we'll just have to try and hang in there. As bad as this is, it's our last chance to do it together. I mean, next time you think torture would be more fun together, don't call me. Ugh, what is Instructor Nightheart thinking? Trying to scrutinize the unfathomable will. Only tire you out. Just give it up and don't drown. <laughs> Hold it right there. Even Celine? What are all of you doing here? I can ask you the same thing. How could you all be so heartless coming here and having fun without inviting us? Deciding to train by yourselves without even extending the offer to us? Honestly, I expected better of you. But for the record, I was perfectly content just to watch. Uh, but they roped me into it. Same here. How you humans can just casually strip off most of your clothes is this cold outside is truly mind-boggling. Either way, it's not fair hogging the pool. Yeah, we want to swim too. Totally. And that's why we're here, to liven up your sad-faced little party. I challenge you all to a rollicking team battle. A challenge, huh? Very well, we accept. This battle will consist of five races, each matching a man against a woman. Whichever team secures more victories wins. And to raise the stakes, the losing team will have to do whatever the winning team asks of them. How does that sound? Sounds like I'd better start thinking of what I want you guys to do. Um, I think we don't really get any say in all of this, do we? Hmm, still. Videos have mercy on whoever gets matched against Laura and Fee. They have one hell of an uphill battle. That's sad. I think we still have a perfectly good chance of winning this. <laughs> totally. We're all worthy competitors. Let's not waste time, Schwarzer. You're up first. You know, then and then the men's team a glorious victory to inspire the rest. And remember, failure is not an option. Y yes, sir. <laughs> You're sticking poor Reen out in front, are you? Well, in that case... No, I think about it. It's been a long time since I got to check out the girls in their swimsuits. Whoa! Don't you put it where I admire? Let's go for it. It'd be funnier. If she know, I'm, I'm expecting her to notice and be like, "Excuse me, man." If swimsuits had feelings, that would be the happiest piece of fabric in Erebonia. Whoa! Wait, has all the teasing actually lulled me into finding her appealing? You know, I get the feeling that Reem wants to challenge you, Instructor. Me, huh? No one said she was out of the running. Besides, I get the feeling the heat of Reen's wistful gaze from here. Get out there and win one for the team, Teach. But, well, fine, but I don't want to hear any boo-hoos when I cream you, Reen. Take your positions and begin! Here we go. Go again, go, go again, go again. Retry, retry. Try again. Take your positions and begin! First time, this one. Because obviously I'm going to win, because you know, first time. Every time. I don't think I get on the rights. I didn't maintain the speed really, did I? That has to be first, right? First time, every time! Ah, looks like you win this round. I've got to admit, kind of impressed, Reen. Maybe Nighthawk really did make a man out of you. <laughs> Thanks, Instructor. Oopsie, not sending a good example just hanging back here, huh? We should get back to the others. 
Sounds good. I was maxed anyway. One by one, the rest of Reen's team lined up for their races. But in a move so devious, they probably should have seen it coming. The girls' team just put Laura and Fee forward for every match. And as a result, the boys' team was soundly defeated. There's no way that wasn't cheating. Well, technically no one specified that the same swimmer couldn't race more than once, but come on. <laughs> well, if you have a problem with our totally fair results, then... Whether you want to accept the result or not, a defeat is a defeat. Hearing about your opponent not playing by the rules wouldn't save you in a war zone. This swimming pool is no different. Kind of is, but... Oh. Morality is a very personal thing. Everyone has times when they need to stray from the path of righteousness. What one person perceives as an act of cowardice might be part of another's master plan to defeat them. The strategy employed by Instructor Sarah may seem unreasonable to you. Perhaps even cheap. I can certainly understand that. There's no way of getting around it. Defeat is defeat. She chose the most effective strategy available to her and claimed victory over us. That's the way it is. Well, it's hard to argue with that. Surprised to see you, of all people, backing up Instructor Sarah's loophole, exploiting strategy, though. Huh. So am I. What brought this on? Nothing in particular. I still find myself less than thrilled with your ways, and by extension, the practices of the Bracer Guild. But I can't deny that the Guild's existence and its methods will be a vital part of this nation's future. I see. Glad to see you've had a change of heart. I wouldn't go that far. Anyway, let's get this over with. What are your orders? Oh, I'd almost forgotten about that. Oh, oh! How about we all play tag? Way more fun than some boring old training. <laughs> I almost managed to forget that we'd done that once before. Is that it? I was expecting something far more grueling. Like hours of push-ups while you ate cake in front of us. Hey now, the girls made that choice, and who are we to question it? Um, yes, that's absolutely true. We must give the winners their due. The desperation is palpable. <laughs> well, I guess we can go with that then. There's no harm in making the punishment fun for everyone. <laughs> well said. Yay! Okay, I picked Major Nightheart to be f it first then. Me? Yeah, I mean, you're part of this, mate. You started this whole thing. In the end, they all chased each other around the pool until no one had any energy left. As usual, poor pitiful Reen found himself accused of many scandalous acts he certainly had no intention of committing. But eventually, their strange yet surprisingly enjoyable training came to an end. I wasn't expecting to be forced to participate in that horseplay as well. Still, it wasn't a completely unenjoyable change of pace. That's true. Personally, I'm exhausted. Um, sir, I wanted to thank you for doing all of this for us. And for all the other times, too. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. Hmm, let's see. Take this. It's not much of a parting gift, but I'd like you to have it all the same. Are you sure? When am I ever not sure? I hope you'll make good use of it. I'll be returning to the faculty lounge for a while before departing the academy. If you happen to need something, just stop by and speak to me there. I will, sir. The return. Okay, so I'm thinking what we'll actually do is get Angelica's quest out of the way before we do the rounds. That feels more appropriate. I will save one of the main story things until last, obviously, otherwise it will advance things. But this, let's do this. Ah, you're here. I tried to stop her, Reen. I told her how important today was for you and everything, but she just couldn't help herself. <laughs> it's fine, honestly. It's my kind of request, actually. There's no way racing Angelica isn't going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, I'll show you interesting. Guess Reen's fallen for the bike's charms just as hard as you did. Guilty as charged. This proves that entrusting her to you was the right choice after all. 
You are for skipping the usual formalities then? No asking. If you have the time, please accept my request and junk. Sure, I've always hoped for a chance to go out riding with you. Shame we've only got time for a race. My thoughts exactly. Still, there's a certain excitement you can only get from a good race, isn't there? You do have a point. I'm not really sure if I stand much of a chance against you. Not that that'll stop me from trying. That's what I like to hear. So, are we doing this right now or what? If you're worried about rules, don't be. I'll give you the rundown before we start. Start your engines. You bet. Nice, then let's get going. The race to end all races started. I didn't expect to see you here, Toa. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I won't be able to take my eyes off a race like this. This is sure to be intense. But be intense safely, all right? <laughs> I'll try. And it goes for you too, Angie. <laughs> but of course, my dear George, I'd never do a thing to worry you. Anyway, on to the rules. So sound familiar if you've ever raced before. We follow the course, and the first to the end wins. Yeah, it's a race. Yeah, sounds simple enough to me. I'd worry if it didn't. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Raise the stakes a little bit. Let's say the loser has to buy everyone drinks. Work for you? <laughs> Wouldn't want to turn down a free drink. <sighs> As if pitting their egos against each other wasn't enough. <laughs> Let's just let them have their fun. Well then, why don't we get this show on the road? To your bike, Green. You got it. Are you both ready? Nope. Alright, I'll count down from three. Three. Two. One. Go. Yeah. Gotta remember how to play. That sort of thing like, wait, like, hold on, what's the buttons? You told me the buttons before you did this. Would've been nice. I turbo it. The problem is that I'm so far behind her already. And no even turbo will help me here. And that's the end right there, isn't it? Try again. Now I know R1 is accelerating. Yes, 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 yes. So I just needed that start. Back up. Probably should have took more of these shortcuts. There we go. It's just that start being like, what's the buttons? It be increased by one. Boy, I can't believe how much you've improved. You really earned that win, well done. Hey, don't sell yourself short. You kept the pressure on right to the very end. If anything, I find it hard to believe I actually won against you. <laughs> well, believe it or not, you did. And that proves more than anything just how skilled you are now. Yeah, you should be proud of yourself, Reen. <laughs> Thanks, Angelica. George. Maybe it's because I didn't hold back. I feel really refreshed after that. Not the feeling I was expecting for some reason, but hey, I'm not complaining. No, holding back is an understatement. <laughs> Toa? Something wrong? Uh, oh, it's nothing. I just touch, that's all. I could feel how serious you were about that race the whole time, Rain. Yeah, it was quite the spectacle to behold. You'll have to hit me up if you guys ever decide to have a rematch. For sure. And I hope we can have one, too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my chance to get revenge for today. Alright, before I forget, I should perform my civic duty as the loser. Time to buy those drinks. Five should do, I think. Five? Oh... We had all this fun without him today. 
It's the least that we could do. Yeah, that sounds good. Aww. And they drank the drinks that Angelica bought together. And after seeing off Toa, who returned to the student council room, George, Angelica, and Reen went back to the engineering building. Thanks for the race, Reen. By the way, before you go, I've got a piece of news I figured you might like. Turns out the Rideford Company is thinking about going all in on orbital bike development. Really? That's right, but don't get too excited just yet. You never know if they'll end up actually going through with it. But the way things are now, I can't really imagine that they will. But a time will come when society feels the need for vehicles that inspire passion in people. Those are Chairman Arena's words, too. I can see what she means. Nothing else quite like these bikes of ours, is there? Exactly. Which is why I'll need you to do your part in raising public awareness while I'm gone. Idios knows I'll be showing mine off more than enough during my travels. <laughs> Knowing you, every woman on the continent will want her own. Guys too, of course. Alright, here's something for racing with me. The same one I wear, so... You know it's good. I think it is a farewell gift. Thank you very much. Can't wait to try it on. And these are from me. Oh, one more thing. This doesn't have to do with the race or the request or anything. I just want you to have it. This is the key to here, isn't it? That's right, from now on, you're free to use this place whenever you want. I'm not going to be here to see the next batch of bright-eyed first years roll in. So I'm putting you in charge of finding some promising young engineers to take over my work here, deal? George, I... Deal. Thanks, Rain, for everything. Au revoir, my dear friend. Keep well now. A race to end all races. Alright, let's start up getting the rounds going. Get Trista done. I'm trying to remember how the hell to get Trista. So, let's start over here. I don't think anybody's in here. Nope. Sharon is. Hello. Your classmates have already gone out for the day. Do so hope they enjoy their final free day here to its fullest. That goes for you as well. <laughs> I'll have an even grander dinner than yesterday's is waiting for you when you all finally come back. That was different, wasn't it? This is the last free day of the academic year, so be sure to make the most of what time you have. I'll be right here waiting for all of you to return. I don't know... Anybody's up on these floors, because it's like Sarah might be. Nope. She's probably gone back to the bar, isn't she? You know how she is. I'm heading off now. <laughs> Have a good day, darling. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Take care of Kurt for me, will you? These two are going to be like this, even when they're old and grey, aren't they? The neighbours really do catch us in the act a lot, don't they? <clears throat> Still, it's time to think I should pay her back for all the love she gives me with more than a bevy of smooches. <laughs> Maybe I should look into getting some time off work so we can take a nice little family vacation. But gee, it sure is nice out today, isn't it? It's a perfect day to get some laundry done. Which I will do inside. Goodbye. Where's Kurt? There he is. Hooray! Daddy's company wasn't hurt by the war. So we can go back to work. I'm even happier the war didn't change him a mum. Seeing them all lovey-dovey kind of calms me down. Always happy to see my mum don't get all lovey-dovey. It means things are peaceful again. Yeah. Or relatively peaceful at least. Take it easy, look around, have a good time. Our lineup hasn't really changed much, but there might be a curio or two that catches your eye. Maybe, but I doubt it. Doom -doom. It sounds like Lord Rufus is doing a spectacular job over in Crossbell. What I hear, he's already rebuilt the entire government. That's an achievement if I've ever heard one. His current position seems just right for him. He can really put his skills to work and do some good in the world. And you hope he'll continue to guide this nation to greatness. I've got a chip on my shoulder about Crossbell, but in defense to Lord Rufus, I'm trying my hardest to move past it. Yeah, that he's doing a splendid job over there. He repelled the Republican army a few times. Long live the Empire. Mm-hmm. Feels so weird. Like we know what happened. <laughs> Uniforms for this year's new students are finally ready. 
With the Academy's recent popularity, this year's crop of students is bigger than ever, so I'm glad we got them done in time. It's only two weeks before I get to see people wearing them, but I can hardly wait. It's almost time for the new students to arrive, clad in their brand new uniforms. <laughs> can hardly wait. It's going to be really lonely around here without Turin and Angelica. I don't know why, but it feels like as soon as they'll leave here, I'll never see either of them again. No, I can't be all defeatist. There's every chance we'll meet again one day. Just need to keep hope in my heart. Not just change because of the war. Big changes are obvious, but there are lots of little ones too. Like Kay and Rudy don't play pranks on people anymore. They even come and help me out from time to time. It might actually be the biggest change of all. That sounds it. Wind Orchestra is going to be performing at the flea market today. I'm going to bring Bridget a bite to eat. She's always there to cheer me on at the fencing club, so it's my turn to do the same. <clears throat> I mean, that's what any good b boyfriend would do. Bridget's always there to cheer me on at the fencing club, so it's my turn to return the favor. Boyfriend could do. I made arrangements for the stuff you found to be sp displayed at our stall later. Thanks again for the help. Guess this means you're on the hook again when the flea market happens next year. Oh dear. On the hook, not off. Oh. That's bad for us. Got stuff to do. The live broadcast of the battle in Heimdall gave us our highest ratings ever. Got loads of new listeners too. Not that the directors had much time to celebrate that. I'm really worried since Misty vanished on us. Given that she was a big part of the station's popularity, though, I don't exactly blame him. They worked really well together, too, even if she did stress him out all the time. Hector seems like he's finally started moving on from the station's misty era. <laughs> Probably helps that he's got that new show he's working on to keep his mind off things. Yes. So what if Misty wants to play Harding yet? I've got a plan of my own! I'm gonna make this show so damn popular she'll be begging me to let her back on the air. You mark my words, mister, you're gonna be back. You'll be back whether you like it or not. Jeez. Will she, though? I somehow doubt it. I think she's busy with other... things. Recently, my duties have largely consisted of keeping Master Vincent hidden away from Lady Margarita. This time, I thought it best that they did encounter one another and was consciously derelict in said duties. After all, Master Vincent is a noble gentleman. He needs to be able to solve these sorts of problems on his own. Though it seems today is the day that he will. This saga will meet its end. Shame too. I was rather enjoying it. I wonder what Vincent would think of that. What it best that Lady Margarita and Master Vincent cross paths, so I dare not prevent their encounter. It does appear that he will be able to resolve the matter with her too. A shame. It was rather entertaining. <clears throat> Margarita, I have put this off for long enough. Allow me this chance to be completely honest with you. I am afraid I cannot possibly enter into matrimony with you. What? What of our engagement? If our dream to have ten children to carry on our family's legacies? I, I don't recall agreeing to either of those things. Still, I have a duty to fulfill. A duty I must take as a man of the Empire. A duty to support this nation. Which means I can't be focusing on my attention, love, and women right now. I do hope you can understand. I... She's gonna wait, isn't she? Never thought the day would come, a floral man would willingly hurt a lady. But I won't be able to focus on post-graduation duties about bringing this misadventure to an end once and for all. Forgive me, Margarita, but there are times when a man must wear the hat of the villain for the sake of the greater good. The greater good. It's entirely serious, too. Tragic as it is, if he's unable to get married to me right now because he has a duty to fulfill... Wait, right now? He did say right now, didn't he? That would mean... Oh, there you go, you left her an opening! He's entirely serious. Yep, yeah, yeah, you left her an opening, mate, you stupid idiot. I plan on starting up my own nature conservation society once I graduate. My greatest desire is to bring smiles to the faces of everyone in Erebonia by filling the country with flowers. I'm certain that doing so would bring so much good to the world that war would become a thing of the past. Flowers are wonderful. I'd be able to make people smile no matter where or even who they are. <laughs> That's why I want them to bloom all over the country. I'll be selling the most vibrant potted plants at the flea market today. Hopefully they'll be a happy reminder to everyone who sees them that spring is nearly upon us. The lunar flowers have started blooming, which is 
a surefire sign that spring is on its way. That my plants will spread that happiness to the people at the market. Huh? You were gonna get married to Belly? I was supposed to, but those plans have now been cancelled. Failed betrothal aside, I... am William Lakelord III, Kenneth's older brother, and the next president of the Lakelord Company. I'm also the leader of the Imperial Fishing Club, a collective of the finest anglers in the land. Wow. <laughs> You're a funny guy. That funny guy? What an imp impudential word to use to describe our boss. He looks kind of like Kenny, but he acts really different. <laughs> kind of funny, though. Mm, I have no interest in those who know nothing. The art of fishing. Be gone, child. Art of fishing? I don't know what that is, but I do know how to fish. Pretty good at crabbing, you know. C crabbing? Heathen child. The right and wrong ways to fish, not even learning the basis of the right way, may very well lead to your undoing. You look so much like Kenny, but you don't talk like him at all. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Are all children this difficult? We intended to depart... tirelessly, uh, But then we stumbled upon this... idiosyncular child. No ordinary child could delay the departure of two anglers of our caliber. But just who is this girl? God, it's so hard to read his stuff. It really is. Oh? Oh, hello! I heard you helped us gather up some things to sell at the flea market. Let me to thank you on behalf of all the merchants of Trista for going out of your way for us. But speaking of the flea market, it's about time we got things ready for it. I'm already a bit behind schedule. Alright, expected more then. Eustace, I hope you know that I intend on buying that political textbook you have in your hand. And here I was, ready to purchase it because I'd heard it could prove useful in running the Kreutzen province. This is the last copy. How should we go about solving this problem? I have an idea. The Academy chess clubs are facing off against each other again to later today. You know, the upper class students were looking for a helper for their team, so why don't we use that to settle this? And it will. I've been hoping for a rematch anyway. Oh, just kiss already. <laughs> here I thought the remainder of our time here would be free from competition. It seems to be our fate to clash whenever we're within earshot of one another. Very well. I'd be happy to prove my superiority once and for all. <laughs> Must have done something to make Adios ha happy for her to give me a chance like this before I leave. I want the book, sure, but winning it is secondary to showing that arrogant windbag his proper place. Oh dear. It's a tradition for the photography club to collect the pictures we've taken over the past year into a yearbook. Once Rex and I finish taking photos today, we'll be able to finalize this year's. That'll be, that'll be the perfect way to commemorate both my final free day and the two amazing years I spent as a Thor's student. He's hoping his shots today are just as good as mine, if not better. Well, it depends what he's taking pictures of, you know. Thanks for the hand today. I really do appreciate it. At least my brother's not a sore loser or anything. Nice to have things work out that well. I'm just glad I didn't let the team down. Still. Still what? <laughs> Never mind. His brother has him pegged pretty well. Everything worked out and Annabelle's finally a free woman. <laughs> wonder if she'd be down for fishing together for a while to celebrate. She might be free, but she's still got a long road ahead of her when it comes to him. Regardless, it's a pleasure to see that this entire affair has been resolved. I know that I've caused trouble for a lot of people through it all, but it seems as though it all paid off in the end. Now I must devote myself to ensuring that everyone's goodwill isn't wasted on me. Allow me to thank you as well, Reen. Perhaps we'll have the chance to fish together one day. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you ever so much for your help today, Reen. Be sure to uh, <clears throat> thank Kenneth again, too. No, I... He... You must be mistaken. I simply don't see Kenneth in that way. My lady, the Lake Lord family is a most distinguished one, especially considering that its head is merely a baron. Surely you must be open to considering the possibility. Th that's not the issue here. And please stop talking about him when he's right here. It's very rude. Thank you so much for what you did today, Master Rune. It's the happiest I've seen Lady Annabelle in quite some time. Perhaps spring has come to her life at last. I can hear you, Carrigan. Silence. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear. My husband always busy at this time of year. But things are worse than ever now with everything happening over in Crossbell. The least I can do is make sure he can come home to a wonderful meal and a relaxing home. Not like it was pretty much the same. It's hard to believe that we're two weeks into March already. I'll be sad to see Klein leave once he graduates, but I do still have one final lesson to look forward to. I'll have to make sure that it's a good one when the time comes. The time's come. But more pressingly, I'm going to Sunday school today. These classes are generally far too easy for me, but it'll be a good chance to refresh myself on my weaker subjects. Indeed. Dim -bin -dim -bin. You're never going to replace me as the King of Blade 2 like that. you got a long way to go, kid. Seriously, how do you get so good so fast? He's trying to hold back and give me a chance. And you defeat me that fast, it's boring for the both of us. We didn't get our Blade 2 decks until after the end of the war. We only really haven't had them for that long. He's already gotten really good. That games are his own talent. It took me a while, but I'm finally a Master of Blade 2. Original's still got its charms, though. I mean... Crow gave me a deck, so it's always going to be special to me. Never going to let that deck go either. Too many happy memories of the two of us playing together to just throw it out. Indeed. What are we going here? I'm trying to get ready for this afternoon's Sunday school classes right now. <laughs> Rosine was leading one of her classes today, too. She said she's going to stop by somewhere else first, though. I guess she's probably making sure she's properly prepared for class. Rosine's going to be helping me with Sunday school today. I'm sure she'll be just as good as a future teacher as she is a future sister. <laughs> Can't wait to watch her work. Yes, I think we know where she is, don't we? We're now halfway through March, which means that graduation is fast approaching. Spring may be a season of farewells, but do remember that it's also one of new beginnings. Still, with all the trials you've overcome together in the past year, I can't imagine your futures will be anything but blessed. Graduation may part you for a time, but I'm certain that you will meet again. What is as the goddess wills it? I will pray that each one of you receives her blessing individually as well. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Have you heard the rumors about Radio Trista starting a brand new show soon? Mm -hmm. I can hardly wait to see what sort of show it is. I wonder who the host of this supposed new show is going to be. Can't imagine they get anyone on the same level as Misty, but hopefully they'll get someone who's not too far below her. Yep. Colette ran off to the flea market earlier, raving about all the exciting things she might find there. Maybe I'll have to check it out for myself a little later. Morning, Klein. How was your time with the Imperial Army? Super informative, actually. Not that I can tell you much about it, since most of what they showed me is classified. Yeah, I figured. It must be tough to be in the Army and have to keep your mouth shut all the time. <laughs> Even though I'm happy I went, it's kind of nice to be away from all that. Speaking of, why don't we hop in the pool for a bit? Not a practice day, but I can still get the, the key easy enough. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Speaking of helping our families... I think my trip out west to see mine is long overdue. Yeah, indeed. I made it through the war just fine, but the fighting did leave the west in quite a state. Now I've decided on joining the military, I should hopefully have some time to help my mum out a bit. Still, it's a little early to kick back and relax just yet. There's going to be a lot of stuff to think about from here on. And I won't let his sacrifice be wasted. Indeed. I plan on working with the student council next year, too. I won't have Toe to help us. So we're going to have to work extra hard to keep things running the way she'd want them. Yeah, which would be quite difficult. <laughs> it's hard to believe that the second year students will soon be leaving us. I have to try not to think about it. As soon as the thought enters my head, I start getting depressed. This past year may have had its ups and downs, but I've truly enjoyed being able to serve every one of them. It's hard to believe that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially the same. Got in here. Ooh. Oh, Patrick is able to make the most of all his recent training. As do I. He's practicing late into the night every single day. It'd be a shame not to see that bear fruit. <clears throat> Still, 
thoughts on becoming for us to be idling here while he puts in such exhausting effort. We should return to our rooms and study. A wise decision. Also considering joining a club next year instead of just lounging around in the salon. I'd recommend it. Right, so I'm thinking we'll end this part here. And in the next part, we shall carry on with the rounds over at Thor's. And then maybe do a little challenge with um, Patrick. We shall see you then. Ta-da for now.